Okay, we're going to replace the seal kit or overhaul the Zinco ZAR1010T RAM. This seal kit is a GAT Z ZSK ZAR10T and it's a re replacement seal kit and an upgraded seal kit for this RAM. It includes two aluminum washers, one bearing, nylon bearing, the U-cup seal, the snap ring, and two compression washers. What you will need for this repair will be snap ring pliers, crescent wrench, straight or flat head screwdriver, a spanner wrench, and your old trusted Allen wrench. Okay, let's get into it. First of all, we have cleaned and prepped this ram so that we can shorten the time of the video and show you how to do that. We don't need to show you how to clean our ram. The first thing that we're going to do is you're gonna take your wrench, crescent wrench, and you're going to remove your hydraulic coupler. Once the hydraulic coupler is removed, you're going to take a nut. There is an Allen nut in here, Allen head screw, and we're going to remove that. Once you take this out, it can be kind of tough to get out, but you will, you will be able to get it out and you're going to, maybe a struggle, but it will come out. Don't be afraid to just keep backing it out. Once that is completed, we're going to remove our boot, our threaded coupler, and then we're going to take our spanner wrench and we're gonna remove this. Again, your spanner wrench, you'll remove the nut coming up here. I will leave a uh, place where you can find your spanner wrenches at the end. You'll note that our spanner wrench was modified. For us, we modify the wrenches as needed. Once you get the threaded nut off, you're going to pull the piston out. Once the piston comes out, you're going to notice that you have your brass washer, you've got brass uh, guide, guides and washers, you have an aluminum washer, you have a nylon bearing, you have a seal and a snap ring. It is important that these bearings go back in the exact way. You'll notice that the beveled end is on this side. The flat side is up toward the aluminum washer. Once, that, once you're there, then you're going to take your snap ring pliers. And remove your snap ring. You pull up your, pull out your old parts. Your U-cup, remember the U-cup is always up or to the back. Your nylon bearing and your aluminum washer. These will be discarded and we're going to use our new and improved seal kit. Now I'm not going to teach you how to, uh, well we have one other step that we do need to take. We do need to take this uh, bolt out here. Now I have pre-loosened this bolt. This can be uh, quite difficult to take out. And uh, take the spring out here. Thread it in. You're gonna turn it up and then inside here, 
you're going to have this this bushing or this um, compression washer here. In some cases, these pressure washers will be look like this. This one here will be reusable, but in some cases you will have this brass one. This one will not be used in this kit. What we're going to do, is we're going to go ahead and clean this back up. We're going to reassemble it. To reassemble it, you simply drop it back in the inside. I'm holding the bolt with my finger and we do not want to put it all the way back in at this point. We just want to get it started. A little past started. Because what we need to do is we need to have this sticking out so that we can pick up the bolt when we're putting it back in. Okay. So now we're going to reassemble. We're going to turn it upside down. Again, we're going to put the flat side up as we look at it here. The bevel side is going to be down. We're going to take our two blue washers, we'll put them there. Then we're going to take our nylon bearing, we'll do it next, our U-cup up so that the, the fluid is going to catch here and expand. Then we're going to take our snap ring, we're going to reinstall the snap ring. Here, the two things that we want to make sure before we reassemble this on the inside is we want to make sure that this snap ring is secure and that these washers are on in the right position. So now what we're going to do is we're going to reinstall this. And then the next thing we want to do is once that's here, we just want to get this started just a little. And then we're going to turn this and make sure that we can get your nut inside here. We'll drop it in. We'll put this on. Make sure it's good and tight. We're going to reassemble and you're going to put your nylon tape here. We're going to reassemble that. I don't need to show you how to reapply your nylon tape. Then we're going to tighten this back down. You'll use your spanner wrench. Tighten it up. Now, the next the last thing we have to do is to tighten the bolt here. Now this bolt here can, uh, it, it's going to be a little bit springy. Once, once you get it tight, we'll just keep going. Bear with me here. And it's going to get a little bit springy, which means it's going to try to spring back on me. You see that? At this point, you're going to have to hook this back up to your hydraulics, pull your ram up and out until you get to 3000 PSI. And then at that point, you're going to tighten this, as, tighten this down so that we don't have a leak from your compression washer that's there. At this point, once you're there, once you have done that, you'll put your boot back on it and you'll put this uh, threaded end on it. Thank you for watching and 
If you have any questions, you can call us at Grade A Tools. We'll put all the uh, parts and the, where you can buy a spanner wrench or this particular spanner wrench where it was purchased at. We'll make that available at the end. Thank you again and have a great day.